Philadelphia News, Team of My Heart. Are the Sixers' top trade assets ready to be moved, or will they stay for a bigger purpose? Jared McCain, an unproven young talent, and Caleb Martin, a battle-tested veteran, are at the center of Sixers news. Will the Sixers gamble with McCain's potential or leverage Martin's experience for a championship push? You know the stakes are high. What would you do? Stay locked in for every update on Sixers news. Hit subscribe and click the bell so you're the first to know what happens next. You know what makes or breaks a championship team? It's not always about who's on the court today, but who's in play tomorrow. Daryl Morey knows that, and so do you if you've been following Sixers news. With every season, the future is constantly being reshaped, and right now, two new faces might be the keys to something bigger down the line. Let's talk about Jared McCain. He hasn't even hit the court in a Sixers uniform for the regular season, but already, people are talking. And when you're labeled a trade asset before even logging an NBA minute? That's saying something. This guy, who averaged 14 points and knocked down 41% of his threes at Kentucky, already has Sixers fans buzzing. Now, imagine passing up a deal on draft night just to bring him in. That's exactly what Maury did. You feel that tension, don't you? The question lingering in the air, is McCain another Tyrese Maxey? Because if he is, that's the type of decision that can haunt or elevate a franchise. No one wants to trade away the next potential cornerstone of the team and look back regretting it. We've seen it before. Maxey turned into the heartbeat of this squad, a guy you can't imagine this team without. On the flip side, look at Jaden Springer. The potential was there, but the role wasn't, and now he's suiting up for a rival. The pain of seeing a player you developed blossom somewhere else? You know that cuts deep. McCain is still a mystery, and you can feel the weight of the unknown. Do you take that chance and let him go before knowing what he really is? It's a gamble, and Maury isn't a stranger to high-stakes moves. But with the potential McCain brings, can the Sixers afford to make that call? Every decision shapes the future, and right now, McCain is one of the pieces that could either lead to triumph or regret. But it's not just about the rookies. Caleb Martin, a battle-tested role-player fresh off a run with Miami, might be on a different timeline, but his name is on the lips of those keeping tabs on the Sixers' news trade front. The man turned down more money to be here, to compete with Philly for something bigger. That says a lot about his mentality, doesn't it? You know that kind of commitment is rare in today's game. Martin, at 28, has the experience to step into a starting role for the Sixers. A player who's proven he can handle the pressure of deep playoff runs, and yet, he's already being seen as a future trade asset. But here's the thing, he's not likely to be moved this season. His contract is still fresh, and he brings too much value right now. The Sixers are counting on him to be a major contributor, especially when things heat up late in the season. The reality? You've seen this before. A player who could help win a championship today might be flipped for a future move tomorrow. It's the nature of the game, especially when you have someone like Mori at the helm always thinking three steps ahead. And let's be real, when you're talking about potential trade assets, it's not just about who the Sixers can let go, it's about who they could bring in. You've seen how Mori operates. He's always thinking ahead, always looking for that next piece to push this team over the edge. It's like a chess game. Players like McCain and Martin? They're not just names on a roster, they're pieces in a much bigger puzzle. Now, imagine being a team in need of young talent and shooting. Jared McCain becomes incredibly appealing. A 6 feet 4 inches guard with range, athleticism, and a clean shooting stroke that doesn't come around every day. A guy like that doesn't sit quietly in the background of trade talks. Other teams see him too, and they're thinking the same thing you are, what if he's the next maxi? But trading him, especially when he's still an unproven asset, is a calculated risk. You trade potential for certainty, but what if that potential blooms into something special? That's the dilemma the Sixers face with McCain. And with Caleb Martin, the situation is different but just as interesting. You know what he brings to the table, playoff experience, defense, hustle, and the ability to hit clutch shots. That's gold in today's NBA. Every contending team needs a guy like that, especially when the games matter most. So, why would the Sixers even think about moving him? It's about timing, and you understand that. Right now, Martin is in his prime, but contracts expire, players get older, and the market changes. If you've followed Sixers news long enough, you know that the trade market can shift fast. 
One day a player is untouchable, the next day he's on the block because of a better opportunity that fits the team's needs. And for Martin, the Sixers might not see him as a long-term piece, especially if it means bringing in a bigger star. It's all about leverage. If Martin continues to perform, his value rises, and the Sixers might be tempted to use that value to make a splash. Here's the thing, trading these guys isn't just about unloading contracts or clearing cap space. It's about maximizing return. McCain is young with sky-high potential, and Martin is a seasoned vet with the skills to help any contender. The Sixers have to ask themselves, what do these players bring versus what they could bring in? It's not an easy decision, and you know Maury will be weighing every option carefully. And you, as a fan, are watching this unfold in real time. You've seen how quickly things change in this league. One trade can alter the entire landscape of the season. But now, here's the real question, what would you do if you were in Maury's shoes? Do you hold on to Jared McCain, banking on the fact that he could turn into the next Maxi? A young shooter with that kind of upside doesn't come around often. Or do you flip him now, before other teams see any weaknesses, while his value is high and untainted by regular season play? You have to wonder, how much patience would you have if it meant getting a proven star in return? And what about Caleb Martin? He's proven. You know exactly what you're getting with him. The man's been to the playoffs, made big plays, and stepped up when it counted. But how long does that hold value in Philly's title chase? Is he the kind of player who gets you over the hump this season, or is he more valuable as a trade chip to bring in someone even bigger? That's the kind of dilemma that keeps you guessing. Would you hold on to Martin for the run he could give you in the playoffs, or would you look to the future and see what his market value could bring in a blockbuster trade? You've been watching Sixers news long enough to know that nothing stays the same. The roster you see now might not be the one you see come February. Mori is known for pulling the trigger when the opportunity presents itself. And honestly, how would you feel if McCain or Martin were traded? Would you trust the process, knowing Maury's track record? Or would you be frustrated, thinking the team gave up on young talent too soon? These are the kinds of questions that define seasons, championships, and legacies. So, what do you think? Should the Sixers stick with these guys or roll the dice for a bigger piece? These decisions are coming, and they could shape the team's future in ways we can't even predict. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, stay on top of Sixers news, and click the bell so you don't miss any updates. Because when the next big trade hits, you'll want to be the first to know, right? Let's see how this plays out together.